Alright, so I'm here at LKQ Pick Your Part in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh, it's a Sunday, and there's like four other really cool yards just down from this. Unfortunately, they're closed, so I'm going to have to make another trip one day. But let's see what we can find here. Alright guys, so $5 admission. Um, I know there's not a lot here. Well, I mean, there is a lot here, just not what I'm looking for, but I feel like it'd be worth it to come in and take a look. Check out this little Miata. Flying Miata. Interesting. That's a really pretty color. Oddly enough, there's an F-150 like mine right here. It's a long bed. 05, mine's a 08. Did that bull bar come from that truck? Or this truck? I don't think so, but... It's very interesting. There's another one. Somebody done got to this thing. Yeah, this was an extended cab. Auto tragic. Anyway, well, it's uh, a couple of Jaguars. What is this thing? Mercedes S550. Okay. Well, anyway, let's uh. Head down through here and see what I can find. So my phone's probably going to be blowing up while I'm recording. Everything back home is still a mess. 73 people are missing in the town of Irwin. It's, I mean, it's bad, bad. There's a Camaro Hummer. I'm going to check out that Hummer. My aunt and uncle have one. Actually, they have one just like this, and then they have the Hummer truck also. Damn, GMC Sonoma, that's like what I had in high school. Yo. Hummer is beat. There's several in this next row I want to take a look at, but I'll come back to those. We'll check out that white F-150. Not really going to peek too much at the uh, SUVs. I see there's a few trucks and SUVs over there. I'm not really spending too much time on it. Plus, it's starting to sprinkle and I'm not trying to get too wet. Another base model. Oh, this one, see, this one has cloth seats. Mine are vinyl. And I'd really, really like to have a good, clean set of these seats. But I want the cup holder and the console. Alright. Let's close this back up. Suzu Rodeo down there. Just out of curiosity. I'm going to head down this row. I think I see one or two cool things. So it's very wet out, and these shoes are not wet friendly. But it is a Zuzu Rodeo. An old Dodge conversion van. I always kind of like these rodeos. This one's a stick shift. Um, these in the Honda Passport. Pretty neat vehicles. There's another F-150 down there. Oh, Jesus. It's 
Let's see a Forester over in the next row. I wish they had them organized by like make and model. Yeah, here's a regular cab. This is literally what my truck is, except it's white. It's 07. It's auto tragic though. Yeah, these are the vinyl seats that like my truck has. This is cool. Old Nissan pickup. And a sprinter. But I really want that. And off it comes. <laughs> This thing feels way unstable. Stick shifts. Interiors lacking quite a bit. We'll take this one too if it will come off. Feels like it's going to. Hell yeah. Pair of blazers. Another F 150. That's a red one. STX. 04. Probably an auto tragic. Yeah, it's Triton. Triton V8, definitely auto tragic. Mismatched seats. All right. Let's head back up this way. Ford Ranger. Nissan hard body. I think I'm about done in this section. Let me check out this uh, little Ranger. Auto tragic with blue interior. The door's not locked, it just doesn't open. Anyway. I'm not gonna deal with trucks and SUVs. Moving on to CRV, I think. I'm gonna pass for it. Most of the B20 is still there. Interior. Oh man. Airbag blown. Seats. The back seats look nice. Does not have the table. Does not. Damn it. Alright. There's a cool old camper down here. Another Azuzu Rodeo. Dodge Sportsman Camper. I can already tell right now this thing's gonna smell horrible inside. What? It's about the grossest thing I've smelled in a while. Back in its day, but 
Not so much. Oh man, a bullnose. We all know how much I love bullnose trucks. That's sad to see. Looks like it was a 250. Floor shifter, manual transmission. Don't know what engine, but looks like a six cylinder hip. 300 inline six. Man, for, for never seeing rodeos and passports, I've already seen a ton. Alright. I thought I said I was going to get out of the truck section. Literally so much here. And I know I'm going to get a lot of flack saying, Oh, you didn't go look at this. You didn't go look at that. Well, there's so much and I don't have a lot of time. Another one of those old Nissan trucks down there, too. I gotta get out of the trucks and SUVs because this is ridiculous. Trucks, SUVs, big vans. Ah, there's some stuff down here. I need to look at at both of these just because I'm curious. Damn it, man. an old Chevy truck down here. I'm going to try and do this as quickly as possible. What do we think, guys? Thumbnail? So, definitely a cool old truck. Still has the engine. This could have been a cool project for somebody. It looks like it had a business name on it at one point. Does not open from over here. It is open over there. Man. It's a shame to see this in here. I'm not even a Chevy guy. I'm not... I mean, don't get me wrong, I like anything with wheels, but <sighs> there's another F-150, this one's a V8, I don't need anything off of it. Aerostar. Aerostar with barn doors, when's the last time you've seen one of those? No shit. Airbag, Aerostar, with barn doors. All right, there's a few ambulances down there I would like to check out. I, I do not have time. I really am on a time crunch. I have to get to Manchester, Tennessee, to go pick up some Z parts, and then drive back home like four and a half hours, five hours, something, something like that. Just kind of browsing through here just to see it's the first time I've ever been here there's another Hummer and way down yonder I see a first gen Explorer holy shit about dropped it about dropped it. Alright, oh, there's another first gen explorer over there. That was stupid clean. God, what's going on here? Interior on this explorer. Pretty nice, a little dirty, other than the headliner being a little fucked up. I sure do miss my explorers. A 
old Azuzu Trooper, old, old Azuzu Trooper. Stick shift at that. I love how these windows are done. All right. Is that an Integra? Looks like an Integra sedan to me. One thousand percent underestimated the size of this yard. Oh boy. I know I'm not going to be able to cover it all. There's a bee buzzing around me and landing on me. I'm not very happy about it, but yes, this is an Integra. An Integra sedan. And I don't know what the hell happened to it. Poor thing. Somebody went to the dragon. Forester. Love me a Forester. Going to quickly run through here. If I see something cool, I'll record it. A little BMW. Old 80s Celica. This is a shame. This is a real shame. I love these. My buddy Wesley had a black one for a while. I don't know if I can trick this into opening or, or not. The other side is open. Does that, that pops out. So somebody attempted to take this door off. Pretty stripped on the inside. RAP little silicon that weighs domestic. I'm in the import section here. And uh, I'm just going to zigzag back and forth. I think I might see an S13. Pretty sure I've seen S13. Convertible with that. Next to a Civic. Yeah, this thing got clobbered. Picture time. So this old Volkswagen has definitely seen better days. But this 240 and this Civic. Dude, uh, I know these spoilers go for quite a bit. I don't have time to remove this or go back to the truck for the stuff to do it. But here's a an okay looking Civic. I feel like this one would have probably been worth fixing. Oh wait, no, it's automatic, never mind. I 
And just like that, I found another Integra. I feel like this would have been worth fixing also. Granted, the paint scheme is... starting to uh, sprinkle a little harder and I'm afraid I'm gonna get soaked in the rain. Cool old Celica. I'm not seeing anything much down that way. What the hell is this? Is this a Toyota van? It sure is. Rain is definitely starting to pick up. Holy shit, there's a 370Z down there. But, let's take a look at it really quick. This thing got clobbered. Still has the VQ in it. Okay, rain is doing rain things, and I gotta get out of here. All right, guys. So I'm gonna have to call this one short. And I know the camera's not really picking it up. It is starting to rain quite a bit harder. Damn it. But uh, I do want to make a return trip down here. There's also four other yards over there. So this will be a trip for another day. Because this is this yard is just way, way too big to cover on a day like today. I need to do it when I have time. So we'll be back. Another Civic. Old Lexus. Alright. Anyway, I just want to cut it for here. Unless I see something on the way out. Like and subscribe. I'm heading up to uh, Manchester.